Hi. Today's lesson is Hotel California. I've chosen this song in particular because by now you should know. Your E-style bar chords, your A-style bar chords. Let's put them together now. Let's work out this version of the song that I've come up with. So we can actually you know, interchange between E-style and A-style quite freely. And you know, get around the fingerboard. There's a couple of good things happening here. It's a great song by the Eagles. Um, some interesting things are, you know, sometimes we play an E major, sometimes an E minor. It's a great songwriting tool. Bands like the Beatles have used it. So let's have a look at this. We're going to start with these chords. A B minor on the second fret. We're going to bounce to the E style chord, an F sharp 7. The second fret as well. We're going to go to the A chord, which is on the fifth fret. down to the E major chord, and we'll play that as an open chord. Let's go to the G chord now, which is on the third fret. And now we're going to bounce to an A style bar chord for the D, which is on the fifth fret. So our fingers will go... So we're barring here, and we're barring here. An E minor chord, as opposed to the E major chord we recently played. And let's jump to an F sharp 7. Okay, that completes the, uh, the verse section. Now the other interesting section is the chorus, which we can play as open chords, but for today, let's go through and combine these chords. So we have, we've already learnt the G chord and the D chord. E minor, and a B minor. And the second part of it is G. 3rd fret again, 5th fret D, an E minor, and then an F sharp 7. Okay, now we're going to try and tackle this song. There's a lot of guitars happening here, a lot of patterns, a lot of finger picking patterns, but let's just keep it nice and simple, just to keep up. So the verse is quite busy, it's 8 bars long. We have a B minor, F sharp 7, A, to an E. That's the first four bars. So if you look on the diagram, you'll see the chords coming up. So I'll call them out two. Remember, B minor is an A style chord. Getting to the F sharp seven is basically picking these fingers up, just straight up, going straight upstairs. And we'll pick the pinky up just to make it a seventh, because it's a little bit funkier. And then we'll go to the fifth fret on the A, and then we'll play the open E chord by sliding all the way down. So, Let's try that nice and slow. Three, B minor. Three, four, B minor. Two, here comes the F sharp seven, upstairs. One, two, slide up to the fifth fret for the A, and drop the pinky. Two, here comes the E chord. One, let's try that again. Back to B minor, second fret. One, two, bring your fingers upstairs and pick the pinky up. One, two, slide up to the fifth. One, two, and here comes the E chord. Just slide straight down. Okay. Let's go to the last four bars of the verse. We have a G chord on the third fret, being the E stop. Now we've got to jump to the fifth fret and flatten our finger down. <clears throat> so maybe as a little exercise, let's try this. Grab your G chord and just roll that third finger down. So you're learning how to flick quite easily from the uh, E style bar chords to the A style bar chords. It's really just, for me, the third finger just flicks down I'll do it in slow motion, and then it flicks back up. So we've got to get that motion very comfortable. So you can just press it on G to C. It's a great little exercise, just to get your fingers warmed up. Now, we're going to do that move, but we have to move to the fifth fret to play a D chord. So it'll be... So it's G, up to the fifth fret. Now we have an E minor, and we're going to play it with our third and fourth fingers. Then when we go to the F sharp, we're just sliding up and pick up the pinky. So let's try the last four bars. Looking on the diagram, it'll tell you what chords are coming up. Three, four, G to a D, two, three, fifth fret and roll. One, two, back to the open strings on the E minor. One, two, second fret for the F sharp, seven, one. We'll do that again. Third fret, G, one, fifth fret, D, one, two, E minor, four, one, two, up to your second fret, F sharp seven. One, two, 
three, four. So what we'll do now, we've got the whole eight bars. Let's put it all together. Looking on the diagram. Three, B minor, four. B minor, upstairs F sharp seven, three, four. Slide to the fifth fret for the A. One, two, three. Down to the open for the E. One, two. Now here comes the G chord in the third fret. One, two. Fifth fret D, roll it. One, two. Back to your E minor open. Four. Slide up to your F sharp seven. Four. One, two, three. Okay. That deals with the verse. Let's have a look at the chorus now. G. Sliding up to a D and rolling. We've already done that. Down to the E minor. Now the fourth bar goes to a B minor. We have G again. Now, here's a nice little trick. B minor to G. These A style minor chords look like the E style bar chords, so be very careful not to get them confused because you'll be wrong. Now, we'll go upstairs and just move across one. That's a nice little exercise from the D minor to the G. Then we go to the D on the fifth fret. Open E minor again. And here comes the F sharp seven on the second fret. And that completes our chorus. So, looking at the uh, chord progression that we've written down for you, we'll play along with this. And uh, I'll call out the chords as they're happening. I'll do a little bit of picking just to keep it exciting, but I just want you to strum along and just keep up with me. So you ready? One, B minor. Three, four, B minor. F sharp seven. Here comes the A. To the E. G. To a D. E minor. F sharp seven. Chorus, G, to the D. E minor, and the B minor on the second fret. Then we're gonna flick up the third fret, the G. G, fifth fret, D. Open E minor, second fret, F sharp seven. Let's resolve with the B minor. Okay, now if you've come this far, you're doing a fantastic job. You've learnt a lot more than the basics now. You're actually pretty much ready to play almost any song you've ever wanted to play, any contemporary pop song that is. Um, so, next couple of lessons we're going to look at this hand, the important right hand for a right hand player, the rhythm hand. Uh, and we'll learn how to read some rhythms and stuff to put all this together to make it sound musical. So thanks for joining me again and we'll see you next lesson.